Monday Night Football, the Jacksonville Jaguars are on the road to take on the Buffalo Bills. My best bets are on the way, including a couple player props, a parlay, and who I think wins and covers in this game. If you're new, my name is Austin from Calling Our Shine. Thank you for tuning in. But first, we must recap how we did on Sunday. Five and two, pretty good day for us, and could have been six and one. I'll talk about that. Lions same game parlay at one and a half unit play. I told you it was going to be super free. There's a reason those two of them, uh, David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs, made our ladder challenge. Hey, it was sweat free. Get well soon, Sam Laporta. The other picks are on the screen. The only one that really uh, burned me was C.J. Stroud. He should have hit. He had 31. He should have had that last drive, but they gave it to Davis Mills. He did get a little bit dinged up, and they were getting smoked. Man, that one should have cashed. Malik Willis soared over, but it's not like he had a ton of pass attempts. The Titans just made him look like the best QB of all times. But either way, a five and two day, we'll take it. Let's move on to Monday Night Football. We got two games, and I'll have a completely separate video for the second one. In this video, Jaguars Bills. I'll have another video linked at the top of the description and pinned comment. That will be for the Commanders and Bengals game. It should be posted right after this video within 30 minutes. So you should tap into that. Go check out my favorite picks over there and hopefully we can finish what has been a pretty good week three for us. And then we'll have day five of the ladder challenge live a little bit later on today. But let's dive into the picks today. We have a couple of them. First, I need to dive into a free square that's on Underdog Fantasy. It's for Joe Burrow. Sure, it's not in this game, but it's still cash and it's for him to get one yard. If you've never signed up for Underdog Fantasy, I encourage you to do this. They do a lot of free squares over there and promos and and boost tokens and things like that they're going all out this nfl season At the end of this video i do have an underdog fantasy entry that you could throw the joe burrow free square in there if you want to but again make sure you sign up using our code cos or the link in the description they'll match your first deposit up to a thousand dollars like a 50 percent match you deposit fifty dollars give you an extra 25 it's a pretty cool match offer one of the biggest ones out there so I encourage you to sign up using that link see or the code cos to get the joe burrow free square but let's dive with the picks we have a rare game pick i don't do a lot of game picks i don't like betting on spreads and totals and things like that but i saw this one and i really really like it it is the buffalo bills team total under 27 and a half minus 135 on DraftKings. now i do know a lot of books do have a 26 and a half line out there i don't mind that for a half unit play obviously if you watch football you know 27 can be a key number three touchdowns two field goals still go under that line um i like 27 and a half they're hanging out there for me um i'm gonna take it i'm gonna run with it now i know people might not like it and that's fine you don't have to take it if you don't like it but i'm playing this for one unit now obviously if you've taken this through the first two games for the bills well you're down two units as so far this season the bills offense has cleared this number offense slash defense because the defense kind of carried them last week but they've scored 31 versus miami and 34 versus arizona do I think the streak stops here? Yes, I do. And here's why. Now, the Bills, we know since they transformed over to Joe Brady towards the end of last season or kind of in that midway point, they run the football a lot. We know that. But this is a tough defense to run against in the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jacksonville allowing 3.8 yards per rush attempt or yards per carry, sixth lowest. Buffalo is sixth in run frequency, so a lot of runs, but haven't been too successful. 20th in EPA. Um, sure, you could say, hey, they're running a ton, so their EPA is not going to be great, and I understand that. But at the same time, this is not a good matchup for them to run the football. We saw last week, Jerome Ford, outside of his 36-yard carry, running backs really haven't had much success running the football versus the Jags. And we look at it in week one, A-Chan, Moster, Jeff Wilson Jr., all those guys struggled to run the football. I mean, they combined for 21 carries for, I'm doing some quick math in my notes, 58 yards. So not a lot of production there. Jerome Ford, like I said, had a big carry, but outside of that, he was averaging about three or four yards per carry. Deontay Foreman, the guy that carried the most in that backfield last week, 14 for 42. They've been pretty good. They're 12th in EPA against the run, 22nd in EPA versus the pass. But I feel like a lot of those stats against the pass are can be a little bit inflated due to a Tyree kill, you know, 80 plus or whatever that 70, 80 yard touchdown he had after Travis Etienne fumbled it through the Reds uh, in the end zone for that in that week one game. I mean, the Jaguars offense didn't do a terrible or defense didn't do a terrible job against the Miami Dolphins, one of the you know more high powered offenses, obviously. You know, two is now injured, so hard to really look at them too hard. But the Jaguars offense also hasn't done their defense any help. I mean, we've seen some turnovers, some safeties, and just things that haven't looked great, and some quick drives. I mean, I swear half the Jaguars' drives have just been three and out. So they're like, all right, well, here goes, here you go, defense, get back on the field. So I really like this uh this matchup for the Jaguars offense to be on the field. And I like their defense to hold things down. Last year, these two teams did play. It was in London, so it was the London Jags, but where they're obviously cracked, but the Bills did end with 20 points. 13 of them actually scored in the fourth quarter. So it was relatively sweat-free there. Um, I like the Jaguars to control the ground game. I think they're running the football a good amount. I think you can run on the Bills. And I don't think we're going to see Trevor Lawrence trying to throw 40-yard bombs every play. I think it's going to be a lot of dinking and dunking, getting the ball down the field. We know, especially through you know week almost three, very hard to score 28 points in a game. 
I like the, uh, the Bills under 27 and a half. Sure, you can take it at 26 and a half. I really like this one as a one unit play. Buffalo Bills under 27 and a half team total points. I don't know how I feel about the full game total. Um, I could see the Jags realistically winning this one. I'll talk about that in a little bit. I like the Buffalo Bills team total under. Let's move to a player prep that I like. Only a half unit play. It's Christian Kirk of the Jacksonville Jaguars over three and a half receiving yards in the first quarter. We get in the first quarter, gets a four yard catch. We're out of there. Now, if you're on DraftKings, they normally give you that 5, 10, 15. You can take five plus for plus 110. I personally almost did that. I'm only doing a half unit play because it is a first quarter line. It is can be pretty volatile. Um, I do think this could easily cash on the first drive, and that's kind of what we need. Uh, first or second drive, they probably get two drives. Hopefully, they start with the ball. Um, I like this spot, though. I do think here's Christian Kirk, if you've been back and have so far this season, duds. Week one, one catch for 30 yards. He dropped several passes. Last week, one catch, negative one yards. This could have been a full game line, and he didn't come through. Jaguars, and more specifically, Trevor Lawrence this week has been talking about trying to get Christian Kirk going. And I love where he lines up in the slot. 66 of his 91 plays ran this so so far this season have been in the slot. If we don't anything about the Bills, they play a lot of too high safety. They're taking away those deep passes. So guys like Gabe Davis, revenge game, and guys like uh, Brian Thomas, who I still like, they'll mostly be running on the outside. Maybe they go deeper routes. I don't see them having a ton of success. However, if we're going to try to get Christian Kirk involved early, we don't have Evan Ingram. Christian Kirk can be that safety valve where he just runs a five-yard curl, throw it to him, get it on him, get him a seven-yard completion early, get him going, get him into the game. I like this Christian Kirk first quarter line. Like it's a first quarter prop. They can be a little bit volatile. The last one we did on Monday Night Football was Drake London. Took a miracle on the final play. Um, I Hopefully this does not take a miracle. And hopefully Christian Kirk can get us a four-yard catch. I certainly think he can do that. I think he has a decent game. But it's likely starts in the first quarter. Skimmy is over three and a half first quarter yards. Now, like I said, if I had to pick a winner in this game, I, I, I think the Bills probably win. But I actually really like the Jaguars. If you watched our best bets video we post every Wednesday where we talk through every single game on the slate, I said Jaguars plus five and a half was my favorite pick of the week. I'm kind of doing the same thing, but I'm putting Bills team total under 27 and a half. I don't want to rely heavily on the Jacksonville Jaguars offense, which has kind of been hit or miss i'm well, mostly missed this season they've been pretty bad especially converting in the red zone and that would piss me off i think if the jags cover it's likely because the bills did not score 28 plus points if the jaguars don't cover well there's still a chance that they don't cover and the bills don't put up 28 or more um i like the jags though they've kind of been a little bit unlucky so far through two weeks you could argue they should have beaten the dolphins a week one choke that game away if etn doesn't fumble into the end zone they probably win that game and then last week against the browns just a bad showing from their offense i think they get back to the bread and butter which is running the football ball here and having Trevor Lawrence just complete short passes, improve that completion percentage, just keep dinking and dunking down the field, stay on the field, and keep Josh Allen off the field. And I think the Jags have a chance at winning. Could I look like an idiot? Yes. But hopefully if I look like an idiot, hopefully it's a 27 to zero Bills victory and we can still cash the team total under. Um, I'm not making an official play, but it kind of is with the Bills team total under. Now I have an underdog fantasy entry. I'll throw it up on the screen. Air reminder, if you use code COS, they'll match your first deposit up to $1,000. Obviously it's a 50% match. Take advantage of that code COS or the link down below. Now, if you normally are coming here for player props, I really only gave you a first quarter line. These are the three I considered in this game. I really like Travis Etienne tonight, higher than 12 and a half rush attempts. I like James Cook lower than 62 and a half rush yards. I'll let you know day five of the ladder challenge will not include James Cook. Um, and Brian Thomas, I like him higher than 18 and a half for longest reception. The Bills don't give up a ton of long catches, but Brian Thomas is a beast. And I'm not saying he's going to moss and go 66 yards like he did last week, but I think he could easily catch a 20 yarder across the middle of the field coming on like a, a slant or, you know, a deep in route or something like that. I think he can get that job done. So this is like $20 to turn it to 110. Reminder, you can tail me on Underdog Fantasy. Just make sure if you sign up, use our code COS so you get that Joe Burrow free square and you get a match on a 50% a 50 match up to $1,000 on your first deposit. I like our plays today. A recap of them. Bills team total under 27 and a half for one unit at minus 135 on DraftKings. Then a half unit play on Christian Kirk over three and a half first quarter receiving yards. That feels like a 2-0 and day. But of course, if you want to know my favorite picks in the second game, which starts really close to when this one does, Commanders Bengals. I'll link that on the screen. Should be live right after this one. I encourage you to go check out my favorite plays over there. When day five of the ladder challenge is live, I will link the YouTube short on the screen. You can go check it out if you haven't already seen it on other social media platforms. And if you are new, like and subscribe. Let's have a day. And I'll see you guys hopefully back tomorrow with some more MLB and different things like that. I'll see you guys then. Peace.